Jared Munt Soccer Podcast is presented by OnlineSoccerAcademy.com, a Jared Munt Soccer LLC company. The Online Soccer Academy is your gotta have it, need to train now, want to get better, trying to prepare for Saturday's game 24-7 coach. It teaches you how to train on your own time outside of team practice through easy to learn from online training videos. Start your free 45-day trial today using promo code PODCAST at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Hello and welcome to the Jared Munt Soccer Podcast. Today is Tuesday, September 14th. And as always, my name is Jared Monts, and I'm your host. Today's guest is Landon Donovan. In case you don't know who Landon Donovan is, he is an MLS elite, MLS MVP, plays for the LA Galaxy, he's a U.S. men's national team major contributor, he's a World Cup veteran, and he's also probably one of the all-time greatest American soccer players. He's been on all the major American news networks, and now it's time to come on the Jared Monts Soccer Podcast. So let's get him on the line and see what he has to say. Hey, Landon, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Doing great. Well, after the game, Bruce Arena talked about challenging you to be the best player in your position every game. And then in your post-game quotes, uh, you mentioned it as well, that every game you want to be the best player, you expect to be the best player. I think the fans expect you to be the best player. How do you handle that type of pressure? Well, I think too often I... scored the goal against Algeria, 90-something minute, every fan in America is just on the edge of their seat. Can you take us through how the play unfolded, and, and in your eyes, you know, what was it like running up to that ball right before you, you shot and scored? Well, it's, it, it's a play that you know, hasn't happened exactly in that fashion, but that type of play has happened before, and um, I've certainly been successful with, with plays like that. Um, our, our team in general is a good counter-attacking team. Um, in that moment, I think the reason it, it came off so well was because there was no time to think about anything. The um, the pressure of, of the game and what it meant was right there, and I think we could all feel it, but we, we just did what came natural in that moment. People made runs and got in the positions that, that were dangerous. Um, obviously, Josie playing a good ball across the middle, Clint making a run like he always does um, hard across the goal mouth and then when it fell um, I mean it's, it's hard to, it's hard to even explain but as a forward as someone who, who's been in front of the goal their whole life when something like that happens you're just so excited and your eyes light up and um, I am grateful that it happened relatively quickly that the ball fell quickly because a lot of times you'll, you'll overthink it in that moment uh -huh. Maybe try to go the other way, or go to the other side, or try to outthink, try to outthink it. But for me, it just fell. Um, I got there as quickly as I could, and then just put it where, where there was open space. Awesome! Well, it was incredible to watch. So I can't even imagine being the person to score it. Um, it was fun, man. I bet. There was a lot of speculation after the World Cup. You had a great World Cup. You been playing well at Everton on your loan spell about a transfer fee and a big European club buying you. Yahoo Sports claims it was thought the MLS put a $16 million price tag on you. Is $16 million correct? How does it feel to have a club potentially wanting to pay that much money for you? And um, do you believe that's a fair price? If not, what would you price yourself at in the transfer market? Unless something I don't know. 
Um, the reality, it's like, I, I compare it kind of to, to buying a home. Like someone, one person will say this home's worth 600000 and the next person will say it's worth 650000 And the reality is that you're worth what someone's willing to pay for you. Mm-hmm. And if men 